My name is David Handler. I was in the orchestra for 43 years. The last half of that time I was assistant principal second and then I decided to retire. I was living in Atlanta when I took the audition for here. I'd been out of school for just a short while from Cleveland Institute of Music. I was studying with Bill Steck, who was the concert master of the Atlanta Symphony at the time. I was taking auditions and I won a couple of them and I came here. <laughs> My name is Roger James. My position was a section first violin, and I joined the orchestra in 1985. We came to Birmingham from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We had spent seven years there. I was the member of a string quartet, and we were principal members of the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra. My name is Jeff Solomon, and for 25 years, I served as the third horn and assistant principal of the Alabama Symphony. In the early 90s, my wife and I had been playing overseas in South Africa and decided to return to the States. So we relocated to Houston in the mid-90s, started taking auditions. I was playing with the Houston Ballet Orchestra and the Houston Grand Opera Orchestra. And in August of 97, I won the job here and moved here in September, started performing with the orchestra. Well, as a horn player, I'd probably have to say Masterworks. Um, that's where we get to play the big rip. And uh, of course, Mahler, Brahms, uh, they just really fulfill you as a horn player. So um, definitely the Masterworks series. Well, Masterworks, of course, and then several events in the pop series. I always loved playing the New Year's Eve program. All those offbeats and the polkas and the two threes and the waltzes, and it's crazy to even say it, but to me, that's the part of the music that people dance to. There's so much that can be done with, with those features of that music. That, that you have to be a real second violinist to love that show, but I, I always love doing that program. My colleagues, I was really blessed to work with uh, my colleagues in the horn section. Uh, we just had a great time for so many years, just kind of putting it all together week in and week out. So yeah, that's the thing I miss the most is just being on stage with my colleagues, getting to visit with them off stage and, and look into their lives, but also still to make that wonderful music with them. Just being around my friends, being around people that are there every day. There's something about the way that the people in an orchestra come together and find ways to mediate their differences and compromise their strongly held views to, to make music actually happen. I know people in the orchestra who really disliked each other, who worked closely with each other, uh, much to their expressed chagrin, but nonetheless, the results that, that these people were able to achieve in spite of their differences, it could be a model for the world, I think, and that's what I miss the most. I remember particularly a performance in my early tenure here. Um, Paul Polivnik led a concert performance of Turandot. And, you know, that's a pretty big, unwieldy thing to do. And we were in the Civic Center. I think if I remember right, the, the tenor that was scheduled to come and sing canceled at the last minute and they had to fly in this gentleman from Italy and he was spectacular. <laughs> he was great and the whole thing came off so well. I think I think I've met several people over the years who remember that one too. I'm looking forward to lots of things. Um, I'm I'm continuing to play music um, at least on some basis. I still play in a, a gig orchestra down the road. I've kept my summer music festival. So music is still part of my life. I just bought an enormous, um, like, big photo printer um, because I've a large backlog of photographs that I want to print, and some of them quite big. 
I'm an avid photographer and it's, it's time for me to start printing the stuff that I've shot and I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm not really retired. You know, I worked, I taught part-time uh, for many years at Jacksonville State University and now I'm full-time there. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, it's nice to have the time to really be a part of that community for a change and to um, have more involvement with my students' lives. Um, I really think I'm enjoying that. I think they're enjoying that. Aside from that, uh, I love to travel and I do have a little bit more time to travel now. So um, Kelly, my wife, and I uh, hope to get a lot more trips in in the future. Travel as soon as it's safe, for sure, to the West Coast to see our family, our daughter and her family. We have hopes of getting going on a uh, Northern Lights viewing trip sometime. It's not looking good for this year, but we'll see. <laughs> I would hope that the ASO would continue to nurture and support my former colleagues so that they can continue to provide the phenomenal musical experiences that this community and the state at large have enjoyed for many decades. I hope they get recognized for what they are someday, or what we, I still think we, <laughs> what we are. I hope that the symphony remains a, a viable artistic workplace for the musicians and a rewarding place to play music and a rewarding place to work, you know, both in terms of the opportunity to express artistry, um, but also in the practical terms of, of being a rewarding place to work uh, financially and a place to make a life. That's my hope. I mean, I, I had that opportunity while I was here, and I hope it remains that way for people going forward.